Well, good night, friends. This night has been an adventure. My little guy was feeling his oats this evening, and he was getting into stuff he normally doesn't get into and doing things he normally doesn't do. We found him plunging the toilet earlier. We're not sure what he was trying to accomplish with that. And we found him in his sister's room with her cell phone open with 911 open. Now, it looked like we had caught him before he made the phone call. So we just waited a few minutes and we took the phone away and that was nothing. Half hour later, the police turn up at our door because the police come from the town half hour away. And we go to the door like, oh, no. So we open the door and we say, we're so sorry. Um, we didn't realize he'd actually called. It, this, it was just my son. He's autistic. And they understood that because when he was on the phone, because we said we didn't think he made the call, and they said, oh, yeah, he called. He called nine times. And when he was on the phone, he was chatting with the 911 operator and like just making like just making small talk in his little autistic way, um, probably probably telling stories from YouTube. And they and they said he seemed OK, but uh, they thought maybe it was a prank. But then he kept talk, kept calling back nine times. So they had to send somebody out. So we told him it was our son. He's autistic. And he got a hold of his sister's phone and it was locked and 911 is the only thing open. And so they said it was okay. We started chatting about him and all the adventures with my boy and keeping him safe. Um, we were talking about different things we do to keep him safe because he's quite the clever little guy. But anyway, that was an adventure. Holy cow. <laughs> now I have to try to unwind, but my gosh, this guy, little guy, keeps me on my toes. I tell you what. You figure 12 years, I'd have it all down by now, but no, I'll be something new. Anyway, guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.